What's up everybody, it's Joshua J. When I went to Japan last year, I met an incredible new talent. His name is Ken Niinuma, and he showed me some amazing, amazing tricks. I did a one-man issue of him in Magic Magazine, and I recently asked him, hey, have you got anything extra special that you're holding back? And he showed me three tricks that I instantly thought, I can really use those. I, I really enjoy performing these tricks. So we thought we'd share them with you, and our thanks to Ken for allowing me to perform them in English for you. Um, three tricks. First one, an incredible assembly routine. It's an assembly routine with something more. It's got a surprise at the end. I really think it'll catch you off guard. Number two is a traveler's routine, a pocket interchange. Kings go in four different pockets. Aces in your hand instantly. Aces in the pockets, kings in your hand. That clean and is the best part. Absolutely no palming. You could do it surrounded with any deck with eight signed cards. Nothing more, nothing less. Very clean. And the final one, this is good for layman, but a magician killer. A deck, card picked, shuffled into the deck in a million different ways, and you find it. What we call an impossible location. So please check out right now these three tricks, Ken Niinuma and East Meets West. All right, so we're talking about a pretty little-known casino uh, cheating move. It's taken down some big, big names. So to do this, we'll demonstrate with the four jacks and a few other cards. Uh, this should be good. But this move has been known to take down casinos like the Yamaguchi Casino in Japan, the Aladdin Jerry's, the Golden Nugget. And the reason is this. It doesn't even look like you touch the cards for this scam. So let's recreate it like we were in the casino right now. I'll take a jack, but for the other jacks, we'll distribute them out among other hands. So just like regulation play, there would be other cards with each jack. But the only one you have to watch for, of course, is my hand. And normally this would all be done heads down, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave the jack face up so that you can see the moment that I take one of the jacks. Here's the first one, here it comes. It doesn't look like anything, and yet now we've got two jacks. Next one, now we've got three jacks. And the last one, it's all four jacks. But of course, if we really did steal all four jacks, then here, there, and there, there should be no jacks in play. But of course, that's not why they don't allow this in the casino. The reason that they don't allow this move in the casino is because you're not allowed to play with marked cards at the Aladdin, the Yamaguchi, Jerry's, and the Golden Nugget. All right, everybody, aces and kings. And let me say at the outset, all these cards could be signed. There's no duplicates in play. This is truly, you could do this anytime, anywhere. So it uses, of course, uh, the aces and the kings. We won't concern ourselves with the aces just yet. It's just the kings. And it's the deal. It's fun because it's going to happen in four places all at the same time. I'm going to place each king in a different pocket. Uh, this one can go here. Last one, just to be fun, we'll use the box. We'll use the card box, which uh, is empty. The reason being, my pockets are on my person, but that card box can stay right where it is, and no matter how I would try and move it, you'd see anything. So, here we go. Aces and kings. Watch the aces change places with the kings. Now I've got four kings here. And if I've got the kings here, that means that's one ace. That's two aces. That's three aces. And of course, the one you've been watching the whole time. That's the last one. What's up everybody? It's Joshua J. I'm joined by Anna. Say hi, Anna. Hi. We are talking about shuffle tracking. These are people, I'm not sure if you've heard of these people or not, in casinos, they can watch somebody else shuffling the cards and follow as the cards are shuffled, which cards go where. 
So we'll try and put this to the ultimate test right now. Do me a favor, cut off about half the cards. Excellent. And uh, we use this half to start with. <coughs> I want you to give him a cut. Complete it. Give him another cut if you like. You want to give him another cut or are you happy with that? I'm happy with that. Okay. okay. Take a look at the card. Show it to the folks at home. I won't look. Yeah. And here's what we'll do. To keep it interesting, I'd like you to place it inside the pack. Just place it anywhere you like inside my pack. Perfect. And give him a cut. Excellent. You want to give him another cut? Um, sure. Perfect. And you know the overhand shuffles when they shuffle cards like this? Do you shuffle that way? Uh, you can try. You can try? <laughs> give it a try. Yeah, that's good. Hands of a surgeon. That's perfect. And um, you took it from this half. So let's do it this way. Shuffle these together like they do in a casino, you know. Just give them a good old riffle. And to be thorough, give it a, oh, couple riffles. <laughs> it's very thorough. Good. And give them the uh, overhand shuffle. That's great. Now you notice I haven't been looking at you the whole time. I've been watching your hands. I've been shuffle tracking my car. I've been watching where it came out of your half, where it went back into the other half how you cut it back into the other half, how you shuffle the two halves together, and then how you mix them that way. Let's see if I can. What was the name of your card? Seven of Spades. Seven of Spades. <laughs> I shuffled 